fucking matters, dude. Like, no, it's just... I don't... In my opinion, like, why should it take so long to join the enemy? It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. But whatever. It doesn't matter. You got the two. It's not DQ anymore, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're not on. Wonder. They, they can't hear us. Oh, never mind. They can't hear us. <laughs> oh, they can't hear us. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear myself for a second. Anyway, I wonder why he's going Robin in this matchup and not Bobby. Uh, that's a good question. Maybe because projectile will rob against against Robin could do pretty pretty well. <laughs> uh but honestly I just don't know. I think Palatina definitely just runs over Robin, but it, it all depends on a comfort matchup for Abe Man, especially coming from this current situation that it was. Yeah, you could do well these together probably outside of game one. Maybe Grandmaster saw that. Alright. Yeah, Robin has some decent aerials, but she doesn't even have the best wing data. And like, yeah, right there, you can clink with her projectile and easily. So, I don't know. At least this is a good job with the situation. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he didn't die, but I didn't know he could get sour back, sour up there in the back. Missing. Uh, yeah, that down there, very laggy. Almost hit though. He can hit through the platform. So this is right. Like... Getting caught by the arc fire. Yeah, Rob is huge, so he definitely get caught by that. I think that's probably why Grandmaster went Robin here, is just in that situation where like, oh hey look, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to get combos with Robin, maybe it's also a matchup thing for Grandmaster as well. Isn't there a decent, uh, Vegas drop there? Yes, and I cannot remember the name at the moment, but yeah, I think they were... I don't, I don't remember if they got PR'd or not, I just remember Grandmaster was definitely one of the PR. People alongside like Poe and Ben. Yeah, it would have also been in the sub bracket to forget to register. Oh, yeah, that was pretty obvious. You can go for that. Oh, okay, good. Oh, okay. I thought that would be much worse. But maybe it is worse. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Oh, okay, gonna lift him center stage. Right. Oh, oh, L Thunder? Oh, I didn't know he had L Thunder. I thought he had the, uh, A good tactician has nothing to see. R Thunder? Yeah. Alright, that was good. He caught his line. I like the perk You know what's funny is, oh, I, I saw the charge. Yeah, I saw the charge. He actually got the charge just in time before he could see the R Thunder fully charge. Nice. It's, yeah, I can't ask yourself for doing pretty well. Um, it's such an interesting, uh, character pool, you know? A lot of people consider him probably one of, like, those solo viable characters, if not, like, close to solo viable. But, like, he's secondary is Robin, which is, like, already super under I feel like Robin. that's... Yeah, I feel like that's where his heart lies, right? Like, I want to be a Robin main, but in theory, I, I'd rather have Robin secondary Palu main. <laughs> like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my heart is with Robin, it's just... Because of the meta, I play Palutena first. Yeah, but it's also good in this game to pick uh, off meta characters too sometimes. Just because a lot of characters aren't like super unplayable. And people still don't know that many matchups. At least not every matchup in this game. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, isn't there another really good Florida Robin though? At least in Smash 4. Uh, Death. Death. Yeah. yeah. Is is Robin that much different in this game? Like mm. outside of the uh, not being able to get the down throw up there to kill as much. Yeah, the checkmate isn't there much anymore. 
Uh, I don't know. That's not a question for Vance, no. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I feel Robin is pretty good in this game. There's also a lot of things I feel Robin isn't that great in this game. I think, the most... I think overall she's better in this game. Yeah, I agree, I agree. There's also, oh, if I'm not mistaken, there's also Joel, the Robin from the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, I just brought that up just because Aiden Man probably knows this At least from Smash 4. But yeah, Joel, a lot of people consider him the best Robin. I haven't seen him play much, though. I don't know if he even plays online. Does does light even play a little bit anymore? <laughs> you know, it's kind of like one of those questions, right? Do you really want to subject yourself to an online meta? Yeah, I think Robin's one of the better online players. So. Yeah. Oh, that, that was the other one I was thinking of, Desi. I I don't know what the down smash is great. Even, even if he didn't connect it, it's probably might have been just to try to call out Ethan Man's panic where he tried to get away and roll in. But yeah, I don't think a situation with that smash would have been the cause. One of them. Fine though, so Oh. Yeah, something else about Robin's Arc Fire though is that uh, it has a lot of lag if they miss. And um, you can just like cross up roll and just drop the loop. And a lot of times you can hit the move before like the animation. Nice! Nosferatu though, it gains some health a little bit. Oop! There's an opportunity for a juggle, yep. Big value rock. Oh, he's just- Oh! Stop landing on center stage, buddy! That was the first time I saw Aiden Man do a panic while in Nair and get Oh, and then, No, and I get it too, because like, Nair is a really good area, but in that situation there where you're already eating the second up air, I would not risk a neutral air for a third up air, you know, with the possibility of death. That's just a situation where you want to reset up the ledge. <laughs> I hope you're okay, Trey. Strides, please breathe. Uh, I'm fine though. Anyway, uh, Aiden Man's brought this back pretty well. Gotta be careful though. I'm too powered to push the edges, they're pretty dangerous. Ooh, nice trapping the shield with the arc fire. Not gonna get trapped in the ledge. Oh, no oh power. that was good, that was good. He wanted to either empty hop or go for a cross up, but unfortunately he did not go for it. He didn't get the grab. Either way, from either one of the scenarios. Okay. Gotta wait a little bit for the fire foot to come back. Ooh, almost got the snipe. Alright, oh, nice. that hits on the ledge like that. Dude, that was a big call out. A good tactician has nothing to fear. Rod has a pretty big hurt box, plus down smash's range is pretty ridiculous. And it lasts a long time. Yeah, it lasts a minute, so <laughs> definitely good stuff from your grandmaster on that one. Nice. Very good stuff. Wanted to give the chat a quick update with what happened in this scenario here in Winter's... I believe it's Winter's Semis, not Winter's Quarters, so we apologize for that situation. But, um, basically we tried to get a hold of Ape Man for the past 20 minutes, hit him on socials, on um, where we think we could find him, and then we did not... You know, our apologies, we didn't think about going... We didn't even know if he was streaming or not, or if he does stream, you know, so... We didn't bother hitting up on the stream, so we waited 20 minutes, hit him up on socials, no reply. After 20 minutes, um, we decided, you know what, that's a DQ, because he hasn't replied. And then, yeah. And then we eventually, why not stream a loser's match? I think most of them are already playing at the moment. At the moment. So, you know, that was the scenario. I just don't know what happened with Smash and G. Doesn't Smash you tell them, like, who's playing on stream, what the real ID is, all that? Yeah, usually like, does. Am I, am I wrong? Like, is that not... I don't know, I... 
I have an internet friend. Like, if, if someone's a mod, you can literally look in their chat and then find out if she was informed or not. It doesn't matter anymore if you're gonna shoot, but... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. That was good. Yeah, I think it even if he, uh... Did get the fire out, it would've been good. Oh, no, oh, he went for the double. Oh, he's got two low for Santa. I thought he would go for up They got the shibbles that time? Yeah. I know you can actually SDI dark fire, but it might be really hard for Rob to do so big. I was gonna say, that's a factor, yeah. You can SDI it, but like, it's so big. Yeah. It's not like Ness is where, like, you can't SDI it. Okay. Four throw off stage with Wave Snap as well, and the Gyro Snipe. No jump? Oh, perfect drift. Maybe I could have still calm that out though. He was just a little bit more patient. See? Then that's the time to come back out. Robin does have great damage output, but uh, being a set of characters not super easy to make out of pour out a shot for a good old Sizzler. Did not make out a loser. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw you lost the first Yeah, lost to Yoshi. Oh, it's not too far. Oh, we got the grazing hit on the gyro. And you can get the downer spike. Okay, okay. Get the number of ages. Yeah. And also, like, he was trying to stay on ledge and he lost ledge of visibility. The dark fire sets up the trap there, but Ape and Man able to actually roll away on that one. There's the down throw. Jesus. You could tell Ape and Man was setting up for a killer there. Our fire the back air, yep. You hit him Classic. Before the laser can even uh, hitbox him to come out. Okay, not too uh, bad for Dragon's here. Uh oh, he's getting put in some really rough spots. Nice. Nice, uh, with the know. heal. Yes. Okay. Oh. That's a rough air dodge, but he didn't take a super hard punch. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh man, that was actually a good air dodge. I can tell if you mid to tech, you got air dodge on that kid, but they worked out for me. Nope, no tech chasing the platform. Oh, okay, look for the back though, charge up a little bit here. Wait for the aerial. See, that was close on the right oh, was... Yeah, he was in such a good spot, all I had to do was wait for the aerial and then respond calmly. But unfortunately, with the gyro covering the ledge, Grandmaster will lose the stock there. Yeah, that was actually really good. Uh, the gyro actually made the down smash combo there. Yeah. The hitbox is still active. Yeah, tough spot. That was a lot from like Grandmaster too. Like I said, it was in a really good position at the ledge to actually just really just shield the lining and then go for a punish. But unfortunately, you know, <laughs> he did not. That situation did not play out the way we thought it would have. Ain't it, man? Here with point on the board. I wonder how fast Robin is up smash because uh. He sees him just flying when they're like that, he might be able to do stuff smash. Yeah, I was gonna say, let me go ahead and just look at the the, the data for you guys, and I'll let you guys know how fast Robin's up smash is, cause... That's uh, just a, it, it's like an unspaced narrative. Like, yeah. It's, so it's a 12 One, frame startup. Go! Yeesh. Yeah. Diddy Kong laughs in frame five up I hate Diddy, and I hate that she. I'm sorry, but Tweak plays Diddy. I love Tweak. I hate Diddy so much. He's very fun to play. No, he's not. He is very fun to play, actually. No banana because you're a. I don't know, man. This is me. I, I have my bias. I have my bias. I have my bias. <laughs> I'm just the person to talk to about this. I have my bias. Alright, well, bias set aside here. 8th man, 131 and 43. Grandmaster looking to set this man on the left side of the corner and keep him there. Oh, uh, the, yeah, the reflex too. Don't forget. Now, don't forget, not only does it kill, combo, wins neutral, and <laughs> robs people, but it also reflects. Oh, yeah, I'll do it for center stage with that uh, person. Okay. Grandmaster. 
first stop. Now be careful here, yes. Go past the ledge, get past the arc fire trap. So you have to really take any huge percent on this stock. Put off the jump. Oh! Man, he, he took a 30% for dropping that edge guard. Oh, nice. Gets the heal a little bit again. Almost got the arc fire set. But no tech. No tech chase. Yeah, great. Good job there. We need tech chase about so much. I'm surprised you didn't get shielded. Right? I'm the down to his fly. Falls out of the arc fire. Really bad. Yeah, I like that he's um, shielding the first part of Arc Fire and then when he can, he just rolls out instead of being shield poked. Jesus, guys, it's a joke. It doesn't win neutral, but everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the Twitch chat for a second. I was like, it's a joke. It doesn't do everything. Oh, Literally can oh. oh, man, sometimes. Grandmaster is like not taking like an air dodge in these spots, and I still can't tell if he's doing it on purpose, but like it's saving me a lot. Oh, wasn't ready for that one, but not gonna kill. I think he has the Thor on now. Alright, nice. Trash with the projectiles here from Ava Man. Let's just set up here. Oh, 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 oh. It's just I because of the situation, yeah, I would have definitely tried to like let go of ledge and hit the uh, the gyro, but that's still a really difficult position to be in, because if you do commit really hard from the ledge, you can just be read by Rob, by up air or back air. Oh, there it is! Wow, we could do it. Good anti air, I was smashed to catch that uh, landing there from uh, Aiden Man. Now it's Red Master. Opportunity to set up the ledge. Ooh. Okay, air down is out, but still even a tons of percent here. Okay, nice, this is the Yeah, that'll up for a corner carry up air. Gotta watch out where you're landing. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yeah, I was gonna say for Grandmaster, he's gotta be careful. Okay, getting with the gyro here. Oh, got a little bit green. Oh, okay. Yeah. oh, okay, nice. Man, AP Man got super greedy with that F smash. Maybe thought a roll was coming. But, uh, my master didn't give it to him, and then the super hard punish on that double arc fire carry him to the platform, and they get the up smash. Oh, 